Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial for Electronica. In this video, I'll be explaining how the preset system works. To work with presets, click on the presets tab button at the bottom left hand side in the main window here. Presets allow you to load and save the states of module control values. I'll demonstrate how presets work by showing you an example. I'm going to add three modules to the rack. A video out module, a 98 wrapper module, and a vmix module. Now on the left of the main window, I'm going to select this first preset slot here by clicking on it. At the bottom of the preset panel, I'm going to click on this button, Store Preset All Modules. Pressing this button saves the state of the controls for all the modules currently in the rack into the selected preset. You'll see the NAS is filled next to the preset number. You can click here on this label and enter a name for this preset. I'm going to call it First. I'm now going to select the second preset slot. Next, I'm going to change some values on the 98 wrapper and VMIX modules. Once I've done this, at the bottom left, I'm going to click on the Store Preset All Modules button again. I'm going to name this preset second. If I now double click on these slots and look at the modules in the rack, you'll see the values I changed switching between the states. Now you actually have to double click here on this number. Clicking on this part of the box allows you to change the preset name, but won't actually load it. I'm going to load our first preset again. This time I'm going to make changes to the controls on the Vout module, which I hadn't changed before, and the Remix module, which I had changed before. Now I'm going to make sure the Vout module is selected by clicking on it so that this bar on the right changes color. At the bottom left of the main window, I'm going to click the Store Preset Selected Modules button. I'm going to rename this preset third. Next, I'm going to load the first preset, and then the third one again. Notice that when I do this, only the values on the Vout change. The other stay as they were in the first state. This time I'll load the second state and then the third state again. You can see that only the values on the Vout change and the other stay as they were in state 2. This is because the third preset only contains the state of the Vout module and doesn't know anything about the Vmix or any of the other modules in the rack. Loading a preset by double clicking on it loads the state of all modules saved in that preset. This is equivalent to clicking on the Recall Preset All Modules button here. By clicking on this button here, Recall Preset Selected Modules, you can choose to load only the state of the modules selected in the rack from the preset. In our example, the state of the whole rack is stored in the first preset. I'm going to load the second preset. Now I select the VMix module and select the first preset by single clicking on it. When I click the Recall Preset Selected Modules, you'll see that only the state of the VMix is loaded. You can clear a preset slot by selecting it and then clicking on this Delete button at the bottom right hand of the Preset tab here. There's a few additional things about presets to know. You can't save the state of the Video Output Module Output Options drop down dialog box, but you can save the state of the Module Power button, which is useful when working with large projects. Also, if you have a media device which can send program change messages, these can be used to load presets. Make sure to set the preset channel option in the properties dialog box appropriately. Presets also don't save the state of the module sequence of tracks or of media mappings. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below.